Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions and review of the Menagerie Cosmetics Whale Song Palette. Um, I actually have seen dozens of reviews about this, but I never noticed. Look at this little tiny mermaid. Isn't that the cutest? I actually didn't get this palette really quickly because it was sold out and then um, once I ordered it, it took me a really long time to get it. So I actually got it if like probably, I don't know, a week and a half ago, but I was so busy that I couldn't do anything with it. So um, my eyes are already primed with my P. Louise base in Rumor 02. Um, I, my eyebrows are done. I'm just going to get right into it. So I am absolutely in love with a couple colors here. So I'm going to start with Bubble Net, this dark green blue right here. And I'm going to use my Zoeva 227, the trusty, let me just make sure that's clean. Ooh. Ooh, I dug a little too deep on that. I'm just going to tap my brush off to get the excess off. And I'm just going to go on the outside. All the way. Wait just a damn minute. So yeah, I'm actually wearing um, the, on my face, I'm wearing Mary Kay um, CC cream. And I got it from my friend. She came over this weekend and we just like talked about our lives and makeup and um, like our goals and everything like that. And um, I just decided I was going to talk about it on my channel because um, I don't know. I've heard a couple people, um, YouTubers that I love actually um, talk about uh, MLM and um, network marketing companies. And I love network marketing companies and the reason why I love them is because I love entrepreneurs. I love um, I love people who think for themselves and I love it when people come up with fresh new um, ways to get out from underneath the thumb of the system, right? Like any any way we can to stop sucking the man's dick. I, I'm totally supportive of that. And so, um, yeah, and also I love um, women being able to make money and still stay home with their kids. And um, so, like, there seems to be more and more ways to do that. I just think that um, multi-level marketing is one of them. And if you're good at it and you're passionate about the product, um, I support you. So, yeah, thanks, Sarah. And I'm just blending this out. I I actually went in a little bit too heavy, so I'm just gonna um, I'm just kind of running this in and out the crease, kind of you know in the windshield wiper motions, but also like these circular motions, and just kind of get those edges blended out. Kind of went a little bit crazy there, but now I'm gonna go in with my JH thirty three right there and I'm gonna go into the color kelp down here in the right hand corner it's this bright like olive green and so I'm just gonna kind of see I'm just kind of going in right here and I'm gonna start on the outer edge oh did you guys see all that kick up I don't mind kick up, but that was actually pretty kind of excessive. <laughs> and I'm just blending out that outer edge. Kind of getting this into the transition area. And then I guess I'm just going to go in with my Zoeva 228 and then I'm going to go into the color Plankton and I'm just going to kind of take that on the out outest edge just a tiny bit.
Well, I will say one thing, you really can't pick a bad color combination with this palette. They all blend together and complement each other very well. And then I'm going in with my JH30, you guys know. I'm just going to make sure it's clean and I'm just going to kind of blend these outside edges with no, 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 no color on this brush. Now, if you'll notice, I'm barely applying any pressure. Um, the less pressure you put on your brush, the easier the blend will. And then I'm just going to drag this out a little bit. Okay. Now what? So, I'm going to go in with my... Where? I'm going to go in with my Moda BMX 402 shader brush and just and then I'm going to Add a little more of that same color bubble nut. Oh, that was bubble nut on my lower lash line. And I'm just going to kind of deepen that. Because we lost some of it while we were blending. So we'll just go in and reinforce this here. And then... Going into kelp again to just blend out that lower lash line. And then into plankton. And just going underneath that. And then I'm just going to take my JH30 and dip into plankton just a little tiny bit so I can kind of drag this out on this outside edge. And then back into kelp with my JH33 again and just kind of add a little bit more. And then back with my Zoeva 228. Okay, now I'm going in with my Morphe M421. And I'm just putting my NYX Glitter Primer on that brush, just a little touch of it. And going across the lid. So, if I, that noise. I actually heard Angelica Nyquist, Nyquist the other day talking about editing out and she made that noise and I knew, I was like, my girl, because I make that noise all the time and I hate it and I try my hardest to edit it out. I can actually see it in my edits when it's like super tall and it goes into the yellow. It's me going. It's the exact same noise I used to make when I would drink whiskey and I would just smack my mouth all night like I just love the taste of it so much that all night I would go that's the noise I make when I'm thinking I guess so okay I'm gonna go into splash 
and I'm going to take that along the back side and I'm using my Zoeva 235 contour shader. See how it's got this angle? It's a little thick still though. And I'm just going to go into splash and I'm just going to kind of put this And then on the other side, I'm going into Fluke to just get a idea about this color here. And I'm gonna kinda go up above here. And then just going into Splash a little bit more so I can Feels like those colors went together a little too well. They just basically disappeared, but that looks fantastic. Okay, there's that noise. <laughs> okay, so my Morphe M506, and I'm just gonna kind of go back into bubble net, just a tiny little skosh here in the outside corner. Fantastic. Where's my little favorite brushy poo? The Morphe pencil brush from the Eye Slay. And I'm just going to go into Pearl, this white color right here, and I'm going to use that as my inner corner highlight. I'm just going to go back into Splash, I guess. I'm going to go back with my Zoeva 235 and I'm just going to take that color splash and cool and I'm just going to kind of use this to blend that all together There was that noise. Okay, I really like that. I'm going to do the other eye, put on eyeliner, maybe some lashes, do my lips, and I'll be back with the finished look in just a sec. So this is the final look. Um, I love this palette. It's amazing. I used my Rouge and Rogue lashes in Noirella. I used, um, well, I started out with the LA Girl Shockwave um, in Fresh, but it didn't quite do it. So I laid the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Electric Daisy over the top of it. And look at how great this turned out. So amazing. I use my Lime Crime Liquid Matte Lip in Buffy. So I'm super excited about it. I'm super excited to play with this palette a little bit more. I actually, um, it's kind of late right now and I wish I had somewhere to go, but I don't because um, it's late and I just decided I wanted to film this look and play with this palette. So this is a great palette. Um, I'm excited to see um, what other kinds of things I can do with it. Um, I might do a three looks one palette just to get an opportunity to play with it even though it's kind of late in the season and the color the color story is changing with the seasons um so yeah yo i hope you love this look um don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell thanks for watching bye